that is safe. I made this wall go out as well. So they will go and fall down over here. And again, they're on the wrong side of the fence. Now, I don't know if the, the zombie raids, do they spawn in light or do they have to spawn in the dark? Like that, I'm not sure. And with me sleeping all the time, will that get rid of them? Because I don't know if, like I've had a few times where there have been a lot of zombies, but I didn't know if that was a zombie raid. That is something I'm going to have to look up. Oh, they'll spawn in the light near the villagers. Oh, dear. I can't make another iron golem. I tried making a second one, and it wouldn't let me make it. So I was like, I don't know what to do now. Oh, we have more wheat. I also caught up on my wheat. I am now collecting wheat for um, the llamas, so that the llamas have breeding food. Yeah, I'm really not looking forward to going and getting the llamas. That is something I'm not going to do on stream because I can't guarantee it'll be PG. <laughs> I'm going to be so annoyed with them. Um, I have a few. Oh, I can't sprint because I have no food. Yeah. So as long as I sleep, I should be okay. All right. That's good to know. I have been sleeping because I'm doing a lot of building. My worry is, is that I had a zombie raid once before. I see that creeper. What is it doing up there? I know when I landed up there, there wasn't any... Um... Yeah, come down here. Come on. Welcome to a Power 5 Flame Bow. I'm going to have to go up there and light that up. I wonder if it did that because there wasn't... Like, there's... There are hardly any spaces now for things to actually spawn. Okay. Yeah, I've lost my whole train of thought. I'm thinking of making mushroom houses too. So yeah. Um, what is it? Golems or no? Yeah, the golems are awful. Um, my first golem, who went unnamed was going to be Larry, but then I discovered Larry was dead. Um, he was killed by, well, first, I think he took some serious damage from a baby zombie. And then the next time I killed a baby zombie who dropped me two eggs and two pieces of iron. And I was like, well, that's weird. Why would he drop two pieces of iron? Usually they drop one. So I was like, and if he's got eggs, he probably wouldn't drop any. But he did. So I'm like, something's not right here. So I went searching for the soon-to-be Larry, and there was no Larry. He was gone. So I think that that baby zombie between it and the other one killed it. Okay, I have to decide between the light blue and the dark blue. I am leaning towards both of them. And this will be the banner. I'm also going to be producing banners for all the different crops and stuff that'll be done in the animals and all that silliness that I did before. Now, these are the blocks. Okay, we said we weren't going to use this one. So let's push it back one. We aren't going to use this one. So it goes back. But the rest I think will be okay. They're going to be very psychedelic, but we're going to change our houses into the light blue is more me. Oh, and he's back. So the light blue is more me. Okay. Any other thoughts? Maps. Ooh, more villagers. Done. We're getting closer to the, I don't have a choice but to go into the nether soon. Which scares me so much. We still have to fix... You know what? Let's put that as a sign. 
Let's put that as a few signs. We need a house. So, okay, mouse, stop moving. Oops, house for cats. Done. House for horses, AKA a stable. Oops, I almost hit done. House for cows. It does look more ice like, I guess. Um, house, what else do we have? Wow, we're having a lot of trouble. For chickens. Um, house for llamas. Is that all our animals? Oh, we're going to fix this one. House for horse. Horses, mules, and donkeys. There we go. That's better. You know what? It needs another comma. There. Comma. That's better. That's for cats. Okay. We need... We need to redo, rebuild state homes in terracotta. There. English comma is English. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we like the light blue one then versus the dark blue one. Oh, I need, you can't just pound it anymore. You used to be able to pound it. So we like this one. So the first thing we're going to do is it's light blue. So what are we going to do with the other one? I wonder if you can burn them. Let's cook something with it. Um, what can we cook? Let's cook a piece of that. Yes, we can use it. That is exciting. So we've formally made that decision. And it'll cook more than a piece of meat. That is pretty cool. Except for now I have to eat this because I don't have any room for it. All right. So to make more of those, because we're going to put them everywhere, we are going to splash them around like you will not believe. We need these and some sticks. I think we're going to have to dye some more of our sheep. Well, that'll make, well, it'll make six because we don't have enough actual sticks. That was silly. Sticks, please. Thank you. Give us enough sticks. There we go. Now we're talking sticks. And not going to really do much with it. How many? We have eight. That's not a lot. And where's our actual banner? Right there. With this. We now have eight banners. Technically nine banners. Let's put the signs away. The sticks away. I'm carrying coal. That's just weird. Shut the door. Slap some banners up. Very pretty. And you. Whoops. That was not right. Let's try again. There. Um, coal goes back in here. Thank you. And... Yeah, we're going to have to dye some sheep. Because we don't have enough wool. At least I don't think we'll have enough wool. 
for the craziness I have in planned for banners because I really like banners. All of those little houses can have banners, but not yet. Where is your front door? Here it is. Boom. And you have torches. Sorry, torches. Boom. Um, you can put a torch there. And not a torch there. And what about you? I only have one left. Boom. That's all I can do. I'll have to make more. But, oh no, I know what I want to do with it. I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, I know. Which will actually get me a second one again. Um, 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 um. Oh. No, I don't have a sheep farm yet. I actually did something weird. I ran around. Um, can you take this off? I don't know if you can do this. No. Once the shield, it looks like it's died. It's actually died. There's not much you can do about it. No, what are you doing? Go up there. Thank you. I, yeah, I don't have it quite made yet. Instead, I just have a whole bunch of sheep. I, I literally was running around dyeing the sheep and then shearing them until I had enough wool. I was thinking this would look better on this house than on this one. Um, where are they? No sheep. Where are you? So yeah, I would dye them and then run around shearing them. And then once I had a stack in my inventory, I would dye them another color <laughs> and run around and do it. I do plan to have the entire proper wool farm like I did last time. But again, it's figuring out where to put it and then actually putting it there. Come on, eggs. I may have to kill a lot of my chickens again because we're back up to our fourth set up here. And yeah, I don't have enough to make 64 of the wheat yet. Stress yet. Yeah, it takes up a serious amount of space. I still have to, like, I want to, like, my biggest project right now is going to be collecting clay so that I can get all of these in enough quantity to change all of these houses, plus the row behind it, plus the two rows up there into these types of houses. And to figure out, like, obviously I can do different colors, but... Do I do these as the inner part or the outer part? Do I do the inner part in a solid color? And what do I do with the tops? Because I actually need three different sets of things. And it's too dark for me to be going and doing wheat right now. So let's go to bed. Bedtime. And sleep. There we go. Back out we go. And let's go get wheat. Let's see, did anything spawn? Anybody? 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 Nobody wishing to die? No. All right. I can live with that. All right. I don't want wheat there. I want seeds. So we're getting there with the, the wheat. Um, I did consider changing my potatoes to wheats because I can give the potatoes to the villagers and feed them with it and help them to spawn. But I didn't want to. <laughs> I'd rather just run around this every so often. And I know once I'm done here, the top row, once there's nothing in it, nothing growing, will turn back to dirt. Which would be great because if I need to grow anything again, I can use my di like my Diane blah, diamond hoe. I need to get that down to zero. So, all right, later. I'm gonna make some foods. I have to make food soon. I am hungry. I don't smell anything though from the kitchen, so I don't know if they're making anything for me to eat. Yesterday, I told you they were making something really good because I can smell something good. They actually made eggs um, with ham and all kinds of other stuff in it. 
And then once it was done, they put it in the fridge. So I just had to microwave it to heat it back up again. I was like, that is awesome. Because they never know when I'm going to finish my stream. There are some days I go right to 1.30, like not today. Other days I go until 2. Sometimes I go 2.30, 3 o'clock. I think 3.30 may have been my latest. And that made for a six-hour stream, which is kind of long. All right, so those are done. That gives me 64 and 21. I can throw away the 64. All right, and that's gone. And I have another set over here and then another set up top. So I'll go and check in on the villagers, see how they're doing. Maybe feed them. They might like that. I mean, who doesn't like to be fed? They didn't make anything for lunch for me to eat. What am I going to eat for lunch? I have to find out what's for dinner first, because I don't want to have the same food for both. There aren't any leftovers in the house, though, right now, which kind of sucks. I wish there were, but there aren't. At least I don't think there are. One, one... Two, two. And that's it. No more. Whoops. Really, guys? Popping out chickens at me. Um, I need you guys to move, actually. Where you're standing is not convenient. Come over here. <gasps> Another baby! A green one! You are useless. You don't do anything. The green ones don't actually do a single thing. Ooh! Oh my gosh! One, two, three, four, five! There are five villagers here! There are five! And two babies! Or is that six? There are a lot of villagers! Okay. Let's get rid of that. We got nine eggs. <gasps> and look, he's giving flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. But let's get some potatoes. Back to business here. <laughs> and some carrots. They are so happy. Oh my gosh. This guy's walking around looking like he's... Look at them all! Oh my gosh! Are you going to make more babies? You want to make more babies? Do you two want to make babies? Would you like some... Carrots and potatoes. I have more. Whoops, just threw that randomly. Don't know what you're doing with the door, but he wanted to make babies, and you wanted to make babies, and somehow you didn't make babies. How about you? You just want to leave. You look quite miserable. Have some food. Are you good? Oh, have some food. And have some food. Yeah, that chicken is just... Kind of rude, isn't he? There you go. You're fed. Your plants are growing. You've got a lovely guy up here. You've got chickens. You got everything you need to make lots of villagers. I am repopulating. This is exciting. What are you? You're a librarian. I have a librarian. Protection four. 
You're an expensive librarian, but you're a librarian. What are you? You're a cartographer. You're my original cartographer. Hi. And I just see hearts all over the place. This is exciting. You're a cartographer. I haven't done anything with you. Have I done anything with you? Yes, you are mine. And what about you? Yeah, you are mine. And you're too little. All right, time for me to go. I have other things I need to do. It's fun hanging out with you guys, but I have other responsibilities. I have wheat to collect. That is very important. And the sun is glaring right through my window. I really need to put my blind down, but I really enjoy having the sunlight across me. So it's kind of between a rock and a hard place as to whether or not I keep it. Yes, kitty kitty cats, I have to fix your house because it's not growing on me. I want it to grow on me. I really do. But it's not. Okay. Let's put those away. Getting so close. This is awesome. We're getting close to our first stack of hay bales. Okay, so we've made our lovely things here. What do we do about this? Is it really that bad? Like, I think it's that bad. Stop pushing each other around. We're gonna have lots of white carpet. Get off, go on. Poor chop, get off. Go on. Get off. I'm going to be chopping the blocks out from under you, so you need to move. Go on. All the carpet's going to come down. I have a ton of carpet. i got to figure something else out. Like, this seemed like a good idea at the time, but it could be just the location of it is bad as well. It just doesn't look good here. Like, that could be the problem with it. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just really not happy with it. Although I should have taken a picture of it first. But no one likes to take pictures of things that they're not happy with. I was not proud of this build. Um, I need something to climb up oh, there to get to this one. Do not teleport up here. I said, don't teleport up here, guys. Come on. Be faster just to punch it. Shears would be faster, but
I think if I'm going to build something like this, it needs to be in a wider space. Like this little house thing really needed to be significantly bigger. Being only three wide is just not sufficient. And as much as I hated hearing them all the time inside the house, I did kind of miss them. The house was a little empty. So, I might still rebuild it, just redesigned. Is there any more stuff? All right, come on guys. I need to get some dirt. I need to put away some stuff. Um, okay, we have a lot of this. Let's turn that into planks. That'll make that easier. Wool, stop pushing. Goes here. Stairs. Go here. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to give you chests to sit on, but you didn't want to sit on them. Not much I can do about that. You only sit on the ones inside, so maybe. Hmm. Maybe we have to make your own little house with a whole bunch of chests inside that you can sit on. That'll make you happy. Except for that you're going to teleport if I do that. And I don't want that either. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of wool. Should have used shears. Hi, sweetie. How are you? How are you? I think tomorrow we will go looking for more cats. Because we need to find an orange one. I will read up on finding cats. What are you doing? There you go. All these cats roaming around while I am trying to fill in dirt. Probably not the safest thing they could do. You guys good? Let's throw up some torches. Let's put away our resources. Yes, kitty cats everywhere. And more wool. And let's head back to the house. Ugh, if I can get through the room. There we go. And into bed. What am I going to do with all of you? Ugh, come on. Um, come this way. If I can put you all over here, this would be perfect. One, two, three. Where's Cordon Blue and the twins? 
Let me guess. You're inside the house sitting on something. Well, there's one of you. Where is your brother or sister? Are they still sitting on stuff inside the other one? You are. Get off of here. Come on. Let's go. Whoa, that was scary fast. Well, we had one of the twins. And I'm guessing the other two are probably sitting on that chest again. And I have no idea how to get them back off of that. So yeah, tomorrow, more cats. Um, possibly building a cat house. Off the chest! Both of you. No, off. 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 Off and out the door. No. Don't meow at me. I said no. Same with you. Cordon Bleu, behave yourselves. No. Off. You are a horrible little twin, aren't you? You're the bad twin. No! 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 Whine all you want. You cannot come on here. Out the door. Out the door. Out the door. Come on. Fine. I will force you to teleport. Well, we got Cordon Bleu. Come over here. Sit. Your twin is just He's not going to come because he's not standing because he's not standing. He will stay seated on top of here. You, if I have to whack you, I will because you are annoying me. Out the door. No, I will take away these chests. What's in them? I can't even open it because you're technically still sitting on it. No. What is with you in this chest? Now, you will come with me. Come on. There we go. I saw you. Where did you go? I saw you. Come on. Come on. Back up a bit and sit down. Now I have to go put this chest back because you were such a bad kitty. sitting here if I had a face cam you would like kill yourselves right now the fact that I am just shaking my head because I cannot believe what this cat has put me through like really and truly it is ridiculous it's a cat it should not be able to do this to me is that everything All right. Horrible cat. So tomorrow will be because the jungle on the way to the jungle, I think there's quite a bit of clay. So we'll get some clay. Meow you want. It's not going to work. And... And what else?
Oh, bite me. There we go. Sorry. Um, somebody sent me a message, and it was not a particularly useful message. Um, I reposted something in Facebook about headrests. Um, one of the things about headrests is you can... Um, oh, what is it? You can pull the headrest out and use it to smash your window. Like it'll smash your pass your passenger or driver's side window um, with the end of it because it's got a big spiky thing at the bottom. So you can do that. So they are designed that way to come out so that you can do that. And she argued that, no, it's not designed that way. It's designed for preventing whiplash. And I was just like, really? Because as far as I know, every person who's ever been in a car accident, as much as I have known, have all gotten whiplash. And they all have headrests. So... That theory is also not true. But the fact is, you can use that to be able to break your window. Because it will provide a small point in which to put enough pressure on the window to break the glass. So, booyah. Let's go check on our villagers. I'm thinking of taking this house down as well. Because it doesn't, it's in the way. Like, I feel like we could build more stuff, but there's this house. And, like, the pathway goes right into the house. So, goodbye, house. And yet another door. Yay! That's the other thing. We have to figure out what doors are going to suit best. The, um... Do I have my... Oh, I do have my silk clutch on me. Yay! Which doors are going to suit those different colors best? Like, what do we use? Hmm. Okay, switch that back to our flaming sword. We gotta pick, because certain doors aren't gonna go well with just oak. And we need rooftops as well. And I do want to build them back the same way they look. Like, I don't want to change that. So that's something as well. Hmm. So we've taken out four naturally spawned houses and we have built several of our own. So we're good for there. There we go. Any more suggestions for our animal names? Any good twins that you might know? Because I'm not going to make any more of the... Um, Siamese. That's all the Siamese I can handle. <laughs> so I need a good twins names. I do have twins in my unit, but they are not given twinsy names. They are actually given really cool names, which I'm not going to tell you because of privacy type stuff. But um, I really like their names. Still trying to figure out who is who. Like they are truly twins. But we're getting better at figuring out who they are. We do little tricks, which sounds really bad, but we do things like we'll call out one's name and see if they notice that their name is being called. And if they do, then we know it's that one. If not, then we know it's the other one. And then we walk over and actually use their proper name. Um, I think we're getting too many chickens again. Hey, Green, you're all grown up. Green doesn't do anything. See? I click on him and he does nothing. What I need is some farmers and leather workers and other ones in here. So I'm going to put... We have no more potatoes. Oh, that's sad. Put the eggs in here. Um... Carrots, wheat, wheat, potatoes, and an egg. All right, so we want to put you quickly before all the chickens freak out. Gone. Uh, potatoes, potatoes are on this side. That's a block, not potatoes. 
and carrots. Then in here, potatoes, carrots, and eggs, except for that's potatoes. And we have a fence and oh those are from taking apart that house okay those all have to go away except for my water don't know my water's up there oh and it's becoming night again time for bed oh and another egg off we go so yeah tomorrow we'll travel because i really don't feel after the whole cat fiasco, I'm not feeling building-ish anymore. It's kind of put me off building. Until such time as I actually have something to truly build. Oops, and these are stairs. And these are cobble. And we need more clay. We need a significantly lot more clay. And we need to fire all of this clay. Mm hmm. To create tons of this. So that we can dye it and then refire it again to make those. So that's our new project. Ooh, oh my gosh. Joshua Sapper, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. And welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, normally we're wrapped up by now. I'm just taking a quick look at the clock because I do have brownies tonight. So um, I should be sleeping. I should not be hanging out here because there are a lot of not nice things out there. Let's take a quick nap. I'm trying to get enough wheat for the llamas. Um, by going out though means I'm not going to be here. So this chunk will be unloaded and I won't be able to get my wheat to grow. It saddens me, but it happens. Yes, kitties, you can whine all you want, but you didn't cooperate when I was doing what I was doing. So, ah, got nothing out of it. Oh, wait, there's one across, across the river. Got you, got you nothing. Hello you. That should kill you. Or not. Get back here. That was rude. That was a power five flame bow. There is no reason to survive that. Unless I miss. Then that's different. Hello spider. I don't need anything from you. I have an abandoned mine shaft, which is full of string. And I have no use for eyeballs. If I do, there's always lots of you around. Anybody in my other pond? That would be a no. All right. Let's head back and get us some food in us first. And put our chicken back on here and get us some... Happy, happy wheat. The word that was not wheat. It's not yet. I know today is a little boring because I'm collecting all this wheat. Um, this gives you kind of a better idea of what I do. Like when I'm not streaming, I will literally sit in the fishing hut and fish and wait for the wheat to grow and collect levels. Oh, that was close. I get my thumb off the space bar. I will collect levels from um, fishing and then go repair tools or merge books or, you know, make better bows or better stuff. And that is literally all I do while I am not. And I should correct that while watching anime because I love anime. So I watch that on Netflix. And yes, although I say I love anime, I am really bad because I do not watch subtitled anime. Um, I will watch it once I have run out of dubbed anime. 
but I do prefer dubbed because again, I'm doing this at the same time. I don't have the time to dedicate to reading it. So I am not a true super anime fan. I'm not too bad though. I have watched quite a bit. Um, I can't say I have any true favorites. I do own a Soul Eater t-shirt and I own um, fairy tale stuff if either if you're familiar with either of those. So they are stuff I really, really, really do like. And Crunchyroll is something I am looking into investing in, but it is mostly dubbed or mostly um, subbed. Weeb? Weeb? You're telling me a weeb? Um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing Crunchyroll, but a lot of it comes out like the next day after it's in Japan, so it's completely subtitled again. And I'm like, I don't want to read my anime. Like, to me, you miss too much. Um, I'm not a fan of any kind of subtitled anything. <coughs> Although I did watch Ip Man. I'm calling you not a weeb. Oh, I'm not a weeb. Wait, am I happy about this? I think I'm happy about this. I'm not a weeb. Yay. So, um, like I'm, I pop up levels this way. I also cook cobble on my free time to make more levels so that I can merge stuff together. I think I need 17 levels for my next thing that I'm doing, but I don't make huge efforts to do it. So we're about two and a bit stacks away. Not bad. Yes, Ip Man was, it, yes, Ip, I should clarify. Ip Man was not um, anime and it wasn't Japanese. <laughs> it was Chinese. And it was a martial arts movie. It was live action. And it was amazing. Like, that's the only thing I can say about it. It was truly amazing. It is one of the best movies I have. Well, series of movies, because we watched Ip Man 1, 2, and 3, I do believe, right? Um, there are two more. One is a documentary and one, I think, is a remake. But... I sat and I read it. It was totally worth reading it. The dialogue was short and sweet, so it wasn't like there was a lot of having to read paragraph after paragraph after paragraph type of thing like you do in some of the anime, which is probably why I was put off in the first place for doing, for actually like reading any of it because I'd had such a bad experience of having to do all that reading. And I was like, I don't want to be reading an essay when they're doing an action sequence. Ooh, I just saw that. There was a little guy dressed in brown with a little apron on. That is awesome. Um, so I don't want to do... It feels like homework. <laughs> if there's an action sequence on, I want to see the action sequence. I don't want to be sitting there going, okay, well, now I have to read this. I can't pay attention. See, here we go. Nope. Try again. There you are. Hi. Right here. Hi. So he'll grow up and he'll be awesome. So yeah, this turned out a lot better than I expected. Like, they are really breeding like crazy. And I'm not even feeding them. I mean, I did feed the original three um, over a stack of carrots, potatoes, and I didn't feed them any bread. So carrots and potatoes. So they have been well fed. I really got to put all my stuff together. So yeah, Ip Man, I recommend it very highly. Um, it's about the, I don't remember his name. Well, he's Master Ip, obviously. Um, no, Master, yeah, Ip Man. I think that was his name. Anyways, his 
style of martial arts is the style of martial arts that Bruce Lee learned and used and made famous. But this was the gentleman who actually, this was his style. And he was incredible. And it takes you through, now I love history stuff. So that also helps. Um, I'm a big history buff. And this took you through China and during the um, occupation of Japan, just in case you didn't know, uh, China was partially occupied by Japan. They were at war. Sort of. Japan really kicked their butt. But, um, so yeah, it was during that time frame and earlier. And he had a lot of stuff he had to do, and he was well known as a sensei and everything. So, and he was the best. Like, his style of martial arts was truly the best. And it was, I don't know, I don't want to give away anything. At the same time, I'm trying to sell this thing, but I'm not doing a very good job, I think. His style was Wing Chun. Okay. Thank you. I'm assuming you wikied that one. Because there is no way you could have remembered that off the top of your head. And if you did, you just scare me. Anyways, but that's the style that Bruce Lee learned. Um, there's even a little cameo thing where Bruce Lee actually comes in and is like, I want you to teach me. <laughs> but he's like a little kid. It's so cute. Um, yeah, but you follow this man's life and, and everything that's gone on and it is just incredible. Like, it's really incredible. Whoops, need one more there. And I really enjoyed the movie. Again, I really love history stuff, so I am a big fan of that. You did remember? Wow. You are scary. There is no way I would have remembered that. I don't even think I knew that, much less to remember it. Whoops. Well, we're getting there. We're getting more. Yeah, I would have not remembered. There is no way. Oops, on a setting. So yeah, this is as uninteresting as this seems. This is literally how I will spend my evening. Just doing this. Okay, I can't go up higher because those are all the other ones. This can come down. You've also seen it three times. You've seen it three times? How come you've seen it three times? only seen it once. That's not fair. Not to see all three movies and they are so good. Like if you get a chance, see Ip Man. It is, and it's Ip as an IP and then Man as in Man, M-A-N. It was an amazing movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommended on my part. Um, yeah. And I am a movie person. I love my movies. I love my Netflix. I watch everything. Um, so when I say, and there's a lot of really bad movies out there, but I literally will watch everything. Nothing. I needed to wait longer, I think, for something to spawn. It's kind of sad. Let me show you my fishing collection. Wrath of Pigs introduced it to you? Well, thank him very much, because that is awesome. So there's my fish. They're getting out of control again. I may have to cook some. How many levels? I'm at nine levels. I don't think I can do anything with these levels. And keeping an eye on the clock. I should be wrapping up because, frankly, I'm doing all my make work stuff. Do I have any broken tools? I don't think I do. No. Okay. These require over 30 levels, both of them, to be able to do anything. And I'm not willing to do that. This is my Flame Infinity Power 4 that I need to repair. Um, this is my Mending. 
That was power five, sorry. Where is it? Power three, power three, power three, power th unbreaking. Power two, power one, power four. I want a power four. I don't want a flame power four. Power three, punch. Power three, power one, power four. I don't want curse of vanishing either. Power three. I'm going to have to put two power threes together. Okay, we do two power threes. That'll make a power four. Power three and power three. Make a power four. Whoa! Kind of saw that coming, but that still startled me. Power four and power four. I need eight to make a power five. And I'm at three. So if I have a power five and we put mending on it, that will make a happy camper out of me. Let's, put, let's get these all put away. That's unbreaking. <coughs> Sorry. So I have this one I need to do and get repaired, and then I need to create this one. So that'll be a power five. That way I can use it and kill things that are not on fire, which would be nice. I currently have this one, which I would like to put the unbreaking on it. Actually, how much will that cost me? Or I could put the mending on it. No, I'd rather have a mending on a non-cooking one. So you and you. That's going to cost me 15. All right. That's a lot of fishing. Whoops. Hang on. That's my actual bow. This is unbreaking. That goes there. I'm breaking three. Yeah. So I think tomorrow is going to be catching kitty cats and collecting clay. Um, tonight Depending on when I'm back, and I do spend time with Tactic Bacon if he is okay with me doing it, I would like to continue cooking this stuff, so I'll just literally sit in game and cook. And collect wheat. You gonna be okay with that? <laughs> I know you have class tonight, and I have brownies, so where am I going? I am going... Seriously? Right here. Okay. So yeah. And that's what I'll do to kill time. Um, is I need to prep this. What are you doing? You have class tonight. I'm just saying when I get home, we usually spend time together. And I wanted to make sure it was okay with you if I just sat in here and cooked <laughs> and collected wheat. Which is kind of what I've been doing the last few days. But I'm guessing that's something I should ask off stream anyways. But I'm going to call it a day. I do have to get my brownie stuff ready. Get it prepped. Actually, I don't think there's that much prep to do. But I still need to get all showered and everything. And I need to check my emails. And I need to set up my chart for everybody um, handing in forms. Because I'm collecting forms and money tonight. Which will be lots of fun. I know I do it anyways, but I still should check. All right, so let us do the links. So this is my, where you can go to, if you missed the stream. So if you missed the first half and you're like, oh my gosh, I missed so much, what happened? And you wanna see, and you can cook and harvest and you can sit in super, <laughs> that's true, that's what we do. This is so bad. Um, oh, you're making my links go too fast. No, I'm not there yet. Um, so yeah, you've missed me building that horrific, 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 um, cat caddy, then you can go and actually watch it a little later. Cause right after the stream, I will turn it into a YouTube video and you can go watch. Twitter is where you find out when I'm streaming. Um, if I'm streaming, if something's happened, whatever's going on, um, any free stuff that might be out there, I retweet, um, usually from Tactical Bacon's stream, his stuff, I retweet it back out again. 
And when I remember and I'm better at it, oh, that was weird. My cup just reappeared. I don't remember it disappearing, but apparently it just appeared. That is freaky. And all of my stuff just fell in. Wow. That is kind of... I didn't even know it was missing. That is pretty wild. Okay. So yeah, that's where you get information on everything you need to know about what I'm up to. There's Discord, and I'm in the Baconators Discord. If you scroll down to the bottom of the channels, you'll see that my channels are in there. In the discussion um, section, I would love for you to put names for different um, animals in there. I've had a few suggestions in there already, which is pretty good. Um, I would love more. So if at the top of your head you're like, oh, you should name it this, write it down, put it in there. Let me know what you want as that. So if you think that Peekaboo would be a really good name for a uh, dog and you want it to be purple, put down Peekaboo, purple dog. Um, if purple is already taken, then you could put down, you know, you could say purple dog or magenta dog because you want it to be in the purple thing. That would be good. So it can be like that. Uh, next is Facebook. On Facebook, you can follow me in there. Uh, Facebook also mirrors my, like the Facebook on there, it mirrors my Twitter. So anytime I post, it'll post in there as well. So you can see all the old posts from Twitter. Um, that have been, it. yeah, sort of. Only the Twitch ones will go in there. And I do write in there randomly on my own. But there are a lot of pictures. You can see my past builds. You can see the past trips. You can see what I and Tactical Bacon actually look like in real life. We're in there. Um, some of my favorite pictures are actually from Bunker Hill of the two of us. I love my coat. My coat is so cute. And I look so cute in it. So, yeah. It's one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> I actually keep it on my phone, so I'm like, look, this is when we went, so I can show everybody, the two of us, with my cute coat. Anyways, um, Instagram. I have only two pictures in Instagram. One is of my hamster, who has passed away, and one is of my giant, massive build that I did. I have a huge igloo in there. I have a lighthouse, a ship, a village, um, lots of pixel art, all of that. So it's an overhead, an overhead view of all of it. So that is an Instagram. I am still working on getting more pictures into Instagram, but I had moved everything off my phone and then found out that you can only use Instagram on your phone or tablet. So that was not cool. Last is Steam. And um, anytime I'm playing any community type games and stuff, you can add me on there and I'd be happy to play with you. My big game that I play is Town of Salem, although I haven't been playing it lately because I have been living in Minecraft. I love this game so passionately. Um, I do not have a multiplayer server any longer um, for anybody to play on. Baconator server has closed down because we were just not very active in it. Um, it happens, but oh well. If you do have a multiplayer server and you do want me to play on it, um, I wouldn't mind checking it out. My interest in it, though, is it must be whitelisted because I am not going to build anything in a public server. There is no point. That is just open to griefers, and that's not going to happen. So it must be whitelisted. Um, and I would like it to be kind of active. I would like to go on and actually find other people. Um, it also must be PG, because if I'm on it, there's a good chance I'm streaming. If I'm streaming, I don't need F-bombs dropping in there. I will leave the server and never return if people are doing that. Um, yeah, and I would like the people on it to know that I am streaming so that they're aware. So if they do drop F-bombs, they don't do it while I'm streaming. Or if they see me come on, they clean up their language just for that. I'm a little picky about that type of stuff. But I am willing to come and join your multiplayer server. Um, I do have other people who would also join with me. So you actually would get a few of us on there. We are builders. That is what we do. So... Although I haven't done a whole lot of building yet. At least as far as you can see. <laughs> because I'm just getting set up right now. This is all the basic stuff you got to get done before you can really, really get into serious building. 
I've got to get this village done. I've got to get it all set up. I've got to figure out where everything is going and then actually do my build. Okay, last but not least is my schedule. There we go. I stream Monday to Friday, 9.30 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon. That's Eastern Standard Time because that is the time zone in which I live. Uh, 1.30 is a soft cap. Um, I do have appointments and stuff sometimes in the, e in the afternoon, so I tend to stick to 1.30 at that time. As you can see, it's 2.46 right now, so I have not stuck to it at all. And yeah, that's kind of how it works. Um, I enjoy this game too much to stop playing and I can just keep going and going and going. I can tell you now, I do have an alarm for 3.30. I will not go past 3.30 because that is a six hour stream and I will need to get up and stretch and take a real break. My 12.30 break is just not going to be suffice to handle not eating for that long or anything like that because that's usually just a pee break. Um, and that's it. So I would have to take more breaks in there to be able to go longer than that. All right. And that's it for me. Um, I am actually going to go because I am really hungry. My stomach is like really growly. I'm like hoping that the mic isn't picking it up because the mic picks up a lot of stuff. Wow. Cats. There we go. Little peace and quiet. Holy moly. All right. So thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you for supporting me by coming here. Thank you for the new follows and for the hosting and everything else. All right. And have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.